Nearly there. Phew. Wow, 10 pallets in a minute. That's really fast. Well done, Lofty. How does your new claw feel? I love it. It was worth waiting for. Now I want to build something 10 times bigger. That's good, because today I need you to do just that. Really? What is it? The new Spring City Pyramid. Spring City what mid Pyramid. Pyramids were huge stone buildings. They were built thousands of years ago. Whoa. Our pyramid is going to house a new exhibition for the museum. That will be awesome. Let's get started. Am I going to be building the pyramid on my own, Bob? No, Lofty. Tiny's helping build it, too. I love working with Tiny. He's great. Oh, it's already half built. I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was going to build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight, and Tiny can't finish it on his own. Hey, Lofty! You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? Oh, ready to go, Tiny! Nice claw! Yes, it's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All right! Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artifacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Anish. Okay, team, this is a big job. Can we finish it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Be a pal and unload these stones. I need to rush back and collect another batch. But I'm building two ton. Go on. Give him a hand, Lofty. We're still on schedule. Okay, Tiny. Will do. Oh, this vase is thousands of years old. And look at this statue. I can't believe I'm holding such a priceless artifact. Hi, I'm Anthony. What's your name? Hi, I'm Cleopatra. Leo, those are priceless objects, not action figures. Uh, sorry, Anish. Thanks, Lofty. I'll be back soon. Uh, Lofty? Yes, Tiny? Some of these stones aren't straight. Pyramids are very neat constructions. This isn't quite right. Oh, yes. Um, I'll fix that, Tiny. I know you will. We're getting there. Everything's looking good, Anish. This is very exciting, Bob. There's plenty of space to show off my precious artifacts. Here we are. Last load. Right out. Oh, it's almost finished. Surely there must be somewhere I can put this. Oh, just one more gap. Um, oh, it. Uh, uh -huh. Go. Now that is a perfect pyramid. That's odd. Someone's covered the entrance. Uh oh. We're trapped. Uh 
Oh. Oh, that's not right. What's wrong, Tiny? Well, there should be two stones left. I need to fill that gap up there with one more regular stone, then this capstone goes on top. Oh. So where's the other stone? Are you sure you brought the right amount, Tutan? I never miscount. Counting is my thing. Reminds me of the time I was counting camels in the Sahara Desert. Though camels tend to wander off, stones don't wander off. Bob might know where the stone is, but where is Bob? And where's Wendy? And Anish. You know, in ancient times, people were often sealed inside pyramids forever, with only mummies for company. Uh, thanks, Anish. Any idea how we get out, though? I'll try Leo. Ugh, my phone's not working. The walls must be too thick. They're blocking the signal. Then we'll have to try something else. Well, they're not in there. Of course. They all went inside the pyramid. I'll go get them. Um, uh, uh. Oh, I've gone all the way around, but I can't see the entrance anywhere. It has to be there. It couldn't just vanish. No, but it... Oh, um, Leo, I think I know where the missing stone went. I thought I saw a gap that needed filling, so I filled it. You blocked the entrance. Well, then, we need to unblock it. Yes, but I can't remember where the entrance was. Oh, oh, neither can I. Nor me. Okay, what to do, what to do. Um, we'll just have to remove some of the stones until we find it. Did you hear that? There's someone passing by. Lofty! Well, if we can hear him, maybe he could hear us. Ugh, this is taking forever. Hang on. What's that noise? It must be Bob and Wendy. It's this one, Lofty. That's better. Oh, sweet daylight. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry I blocked you in. I just wanted to keep building and use my new claw. Well, no real harm done, Lofty. Although it is good to be outside again. I was having too much fun working with Tiny. I'm glad you like working with me, Lofty. I enjoy working with you, too. You do? Sure. You can move about and do the important smaller jobs while I do the heavy bigger jobs. We work well together. Like a team? Like a great team. So let's work together and get this pyramid finished. Mayor Madison will be here soon, so I need immediate help moving the rest of the artifacts into the chamber. We're with you, Anish. Let's get these stones back in place. We'll have your exhibition on display in no time, Anish. There. All done. It's all yours, Tiny. Here goes. Looking good. Well done. Thanks, Lofty. You and I really do make a great team. Awesome. Philip. My pleasure, Mom. Bob, what can I say? It's magnificent. A real landmark for Spring City. I guess you built this lofty? Oh, yes. But with Tiny, of course. We're the best crane team in Spring City. Well, Anish, I'm so looking forward to seeing this wonderful exhibition. Let's make sure we give that entrance a door you can open from the inside.
So, Philip, your new garage will be going right under here. Ah, oh, wonderful, Bob. You mean it's gonna be an underground garage? Correct, Muck. The whole garage will lift up out of the ground and then lower back down like an elevator. All done with powerful arms called hydraulic cylinders. And all controlled by Philip or this remote control. <sighs> I'm so looking forward to having some peace and quiet in my underground garage, away from all the noise. Bob! Hi, Mayor Madison. You do know I need Philip's garage to be ready tomorrow morning. Philip is bringing Mayor Snipe to see how we're using all the newest gadgets here at Fixum Town Hall. The underground garage is going to be my big surprise. We should have it ready by the end of today. It's going to be awesome! That is exactly the sort of noise I want to get away from. Sorry, Mr. Philip. He's a little bit scary. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Mayor Madison, uh, I've just spoken to the suppliers. The hydraulic cylinders won't be delivered until this evening. Which means we won't be able to have Philip's garage finished before night time. But what if it rains or there's a dust storm or a mudslide? We can't have Philip staying out tonight. Yes, I do not enjoy being dirty. No offense, Muck. Who? Hey? Why don't you stay at our yard? I'm sure one of the vehicles won't mind you having their shed for the night. Terrific idea, Bob. What? All right, then, team. Let's go. Oh, a builder's yard. Here we are, Philip. You'll get a good night's sleep here. Hello. Bob, I have a delivery for you. Ah, that's two ton with the hydraulic cylinders. We'll fit them first thing in the morning. Come on, Scoop. Help me bring them in. Hmm. Uh, I'll see if they need some help. Uh, where should I put these cylinders, Bob? Inside the workshop, please, Scoop. And be gentle with them, Scoop. Uh, Bob, whose shed is Philip using for the night? I don't mind sleeping outside with all the bats and the ghosties. Thanks, Scoop. Phew, that's good. I don't like sleeping outside. <sighs> Packed away safely, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. Now, we've got an early start tomorrow, so it's time for bed. Good night, everybody. Night. Night, night. Night. Good night, Bob. <sighs> Is something wrong, Philip? There's a smell of oil and oh, old cloths. Yeah, that's my collection of old oily rags. I can't possibly sleep in here. You can have my shed if you like. Um, careful as you back right in. It's a little bit... Yes, thank you, Lofty. I'm very good at parking. Right. Hmm. Acceptable. Oh. Oh, what was that? Is everything okay, Philip? Who's using a chainsaw at this time of night? Oh, that's just Roly snoring. I got used to it. It's actually quite pleasant. Well, I can't sleep in this shed. I need peace and quiet. <sighs> Muck, I need your shed. Really? I can't sleep outside. What if there was a dust storm in the night? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, yes, 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Thank you. Suppose I'll have to find somewhere else to sleep. <laughs> no, Kitty, you'll get poor prints all over me. Get off! Is there nowhere I can find some peace and quiet? Put these here. Oh, I suppose this will have to do. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's a bat on my head. Oh, it's you, Gull. Phew. Nearly comfy. One more inch. <laughs> <gasps> What's that noise, Gull? I hope it's not a ghosty. <gasps> What's going on? Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. <laughs> there he is. Mark! Mark! <laughs> the ghost again! The garage. Oh no, what have I done? Ooh. Look, it's okay. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghosty. <sighs> what are you all doing in. Oh no, the jacks. They're all dented and broken. It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck. I've been a terrible guest, and I've been very rude to you. That's OK. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me. It'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. There we go, Philip. All clean and ready to go. Thank you, Bob. Does everyone know what they're doing in Philip's go slow plan? Yes! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well, that seems to be working fine. Thank you, Wendy. Well, I've seen your remote-controlled doors and your remote-controlled lights and your remote-controlled toilets. What's this final surprise, Mayor Madison? It's my new garage for Philip. Hmm, maybe you should make him remote-controlled too because it took ages getting here. I heard there was a lot of slow-moving traffic on the roads this morning. <laughs> Come on, Mayor Madison, where's this new garage? I pressed something on here, I suppose. Oh, what's happening? Is it an earthquake? Thank you, Bob. Oh, which button makes it go down? No, oh. make it stop. Oh. 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 
<laughs> I'm not sure it's supposed to work like that. I think it works perfectly. <laughs> Hello, 